Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is C. Michelle and today we are going to be playing around with a palette that I just got. And y'all, I put in the community tab that I just bought 10 palettes, like legit. I bought 10 palettes and I needed your help to figure out which palette to use first in a tutorial. So if you can go to the community tab and let me know. The two that are on the way will be a surprise because I'm going to do a video talking about all the crazy stuff, all the palettes I just bought, child. But anyway, this is the first time in like literally five, six months that I purchased some palettes. So I'm really excited about all the palettes that I recently bought. So anywho, we are going to be talking about the Nomad palette, the Hudson Valley palette. So I did a short with this video recently doing swatches. So you can check out that video to see the swatches and how I kind of see this palette as one, but I see it as two color stories, a warm side from this side over and then a cooler side, this side over here. So I am typically a warm palette girl, but today we are going to be playing around with the warm side. Another thing I want to mention to you guys is last week, trying to get on the schedules trying to do this whole two videos a week thing we're starting with my nars base and a mac 195 fresh i said you know what i'm gonna film a video and i did and guess what i completely messed up the look i did record it if i didn't take like the last step that i took the look would have been fine but if you guys want to see that video let me know it's a hot mess but hey base is laid. You could, after this, set it with a powder if you want. Um, I'm not in this case. So we are going to work with the cooler side, kind of have a vision of what I want to do. I'm going to just use this row right here. And I'm challenging myself using cool tones because in that last video that I did, I used a cool tone and I really enjoyed it. I said, whoa, I didn't think I liked cool tones as much as I do. But Let's I have start with farm to table. Cool. I actually want to try farm to table restaurants. That's so funny. So we're going to put this in the crease area and kind of round it out already. Crazy pigmented. Look at that. So let me know in the comments, guys, what palettes have you guys been loving recently? what palettes are on your radar because i think i'm going to get some more palettes help me lord help my wallet all right so for our transition shade let's go in with ghost tour right here and just see how it looks and see how these build upon each other. If you can see it, it's pretty dusty, or not dusty, but um, you know, it's a lot of shadow on the pan here. So, oh, I could definitely see it. Wow. All right, so now we're gonna go in with Apple Cider Donut, which is that middle shade apple cider donut and i'm just going to put that next to the farm to table so i can already tell that i'm going to use some other colors from another row i'm going to go on with great pumpkin patch right here and we're going to put that here look at that color such a pretty color. We're going to try Ghost Town on the lid and just see how that blends out and just looks as a lid color because as a transition shade didn't necessarily work for me but it might look super pretty on the lid as a lid shade. So let's see here. Yeah, I like it as a lid color. Definitely like Ghost Tour as a lid shade. So we're going to just kind of cut the crease on its own. And then 
from using ghost tour it definitely dusted away the farm to table so i'll go in with a little bit more farm to table to keep that definition i am always using a shimmer so it's cool it's kind of cool to see what just an all flat matte look would look like and then from here i'm gonna take just a little bit and bring it in some i definitely like how pigmented these shades are but I do notice how you have to, you know, just kind of reapply and rebuild the shade if you want it to pop. I just want to make sure everything is blended really nicely. And doing that kind of creates a color right here as well because the apple cider donut didn't really show this one didn't really show with the base that i've used yeah i definitely like the way that looks but i'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the apple cider donut just to make sure that that color is pronounced i'm going over the whole socket the eye socket there Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So here is what I came up with. I absolutely loved it. I even added some of the orange on the bottom and the waterline along with the farm to table in the outer corner. I love this. I really hope you can see the gradient of colors and how it all really came together. I love it. The ghost town, wait, I love the ghost town on the lid. Oh, I'm sorry, ghost tour. So I used in this video, ghost tour. I tried this, but I'm gonna have to try that in a different way. Farm to table, and then I used pumpkin patch in the um, transition shade, and then I used Fall festival on the bottom here. Love this look. Love it. Love it. Like Ghost Tour has really turned out to be one of my favorite shades so far. Like, and I really love Great Pumpkin Patch. Oh my gosh, that brown color I used. Look at this on the lid. I love this for like a flat matte look. Yes. And in person, y'all, it looks so good. Make sure you guys look at the community tab for the photos that I post about this palette. See you guys in the next clip. We are getting ready to do the second look using the Nomad palette. And, you know, like I say every time, I have no idea how the look is going to turn out, but we used majority of the cooler side the last look. So we're gonna kind of do a combination of both. I am going to try a different base this time. I'm gonna use this white base. So let's jump right in. In a previous tutorial, I said I put the white base on my hand meticulously to be able to control how much comes out. So this time I said, you know what? I'm gonna just use the doe foot applicator and see how that works. And already, you know so much of it comes out now for me and my base when i use a white one i typically don't do like super white but you know what why not for the heck of it we're gonna add a little bit more and just really make it stand out and see if it makes that much of it oh lord okay that's gonna be spread across both eyes because yeah and y'all okay look at that look at that. oh ah. okay so i blended it out just a bit more 
And now I really want to layer these shadows. So I'm going to start with this yellow here called Cider House. So starting with the yellow in Cider House, we're going to use this as our transition shade. And I'm using a smaller fluffy brush to ensure that I can really do the layering that I want to do with this. Okay, I'm going to scoot up some. I'm really building up this color. Now we're going to go in with Wine Harvest. And we're going to put that in the outer corners. Let's see. Super pigmented. And I'm just patting it into the yellow to be able to keep as much as the yellow there as possible. So I want to be able to blend these out. I'm going to go in with the Great Pumpkin Patch. I believe we used that in the last one as well. But, okay, we're good. I'm going to probably be using a bit of both. And again, I'm going right underneath. Well, what I meant was we'll be using shades I used in the last tutorial as well. We are going to be layering these. So I wanted to see how this would layer with the yellow. So I can still see the yellow so far, which is great. I'm having a hard time deciding if I want to go between the green or this one, the foliage trail. You know what? I think I'm going to... You know what? We'll do one on each eye. So I'm going to start with foliage trail. And if I really like Foley's Trail, I'll just do the same thing on the other eye. I'm going to go up and kind of cut the crease. I definitely have noticed that the shimmers are buildable. They're very buildable. The mats, however, I have noticed a lot of it dusts away. And you're gonna have to reapply that and rebuild it depending on how pigmented you want it to be. So what are we thinking of foliage trail on this eye? I have a little bit of fallout here, which is fine, no problem. I could clean that up in just a second. And are we still able to see the layers of colors? I see the yellow still. Don't really see the pumpkin patch right now. So here is the foliage trail on the eyes. We're gonna go with the corn maze, the green color. And I'm gonna have two different looks, like I said. Now this green though is super pigmented and I literally only had a little bit on each side here. Alrighty, I got quite a bit to fall out from that green. Okay. Oh well. Alright, so I am going to go in with the color that I have been trying to use forever and that is this Farmer's Market. Let's see what that looks like underneath here and with these shadows I've noticed that I have to pat because of how chalky they are I have to pat but I love this color underneath here like that that's so pretty okay I'm gonna put on liner and lashes or mascara and I'll be right back okay so here are both eyes 
I actually really, 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 really like the lime green one better. And that is the corn maze color that's on the lid here. It pops, it's beautiful. I really like the way that this look turned out. So I'll get really close so you guys can see. Okay, so let's get into what I think of the palette. I like the palette. The only thing I don't like is the amount of fallout. Like it's even on my shirt. When I look down, I'm like, whoa. So with these shadows, you have to be extremely gentle, like hat very gently. And even if you do that, I'm sure you're still going to get some fallout. But like I have some here. I have some of the green foliage here that has just fallen out. And typically I always do my foundation and concealer last for this reason. But um, today I just wanted to do my foundation first. But anyway, so yeah, I like the palette. The colors are stunning. The pigmentation is stunning. The fallout is just my only gripe. But like, look at these shades. Look at the colors. I think they blend well. Now, like many shadows, though, you're going to have to reapply if you're blending other shadows into them. I mean, that's just a thing. I'm fine with that. Um, so that doesn't bother me. So I reapplied a little bit of the Wine Harvest, which is this dark burgundy color here, um, back into the crease. And from my point of view, I can still see the yellow. I can see the um, pumpkin patch, the great pumpkin patch on this eye a little bit more than I can over here, but that just might be due to my own blending, whatever. But I really like it and I like the farmer's market on the bottom. All the colors showed up, which is great, and they were pigmented. So yeah, the, my only gripe is the fallout. Other than that, love them. They're not patchy. They go on beautifully. They swatch beautifully. And like I mentioned before earlier in this video, that if you want to check out the swatches, go check out my shorts and you'll be able to see that um, where I mentioned that I think it's two different color stories in this palette, but it all still works all in one at the same time. So anyway, this is a palette that I will be playing around with more because I think it's gorgeous. It was worth the price. I don't know how much I paid. I'm not going to lie. It's worth the price to me, especially for the amount of shadows you get, the pan sizes. I mean, it's a really good palette. The only thing is the fallout, but I will definitely still use it. Uh, it's a beautiful palette. All right, one last look. So yeah, I guess you kind of got three looks in one, sort of. Um, but I'm really glad that I did do it that way because I really like this corn maze mixed with this wine harvest. I really like lime green and burgundy together. So if you want to check out another video, I did check out the shorts. I have a burgundy and lime green makeup tutorial. Like I love burgundy and lime green. Um, and then it made its own color after you married the two together. Just so pretty. Love that. I love it, love it, love it. It really makes my eyes pop. You know, green against brown just really pops. So, you know, this is my safe eye. This is my, we're going to that next level eye. All right, so that is it for the video. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe and you check out the playlist where I am talking about other makeup palettes and doing reviews and tutorials and swatches and all of that stuff with them. And I can't wait till the next one. I'll see you next time. Adios, besos.